Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and another video. Today I wanted to do like a chatty, longer Q&A type of situation. I've done Q&As a ton on my Instagram stories, but I've been wanting to do one like longer video, obviously, like I said, that I can like further explain things. So I got a few questions on my Instagram and if you guys like these videos, let me know and I'll do more. I feel like I like these because you can kind of like get to know me better and like, I don't know, it's different on Instagram. So we're we're gonna try it out and if you guys like it let me know in the comments or send me a message on instagram and let me know because i will do more i think i'm also gonna do my makeup while i answer these because i have to film another video when i'm done with this so we're gonna do my makeup too okay the first two questions are essentially the same thing so one of them is what do you do for work and the other one is is content creation your full-time job so no content creation is not my full-time job if you haven't watched any of my previous videos i work in my sister's salon she owns a salon in elmwood village and i work there as a manager slash receptionist slash whatever she needs me to do i'm there tuesday through friday pretty much the whole day and it's great i love working there i would love for content creation to be my full-time job but unfortunately i'm just not there yet i think i will get there one day i'm trying to manifest it i will get there one day and i would love to do that full-time i truly enjoy doing these types of videos doing my instagram photos like all of that kind of stuff is really fun for me so i definitely would love to do it full-time one day but just not consistent enough for me right now and i've been doing it for almost seven years so i've definitely put in the work but it'll come to me when it is time i'm just trying to like trust the process on that i got a few questions about the wedding and wedding related things so i'm gonna do those next one of them is any wedding updates not really i feel like if you watch my videos i have mentioned possibly going to look at venues this summer but we're kind of like just seeing how everything goes we really want to buy a house this year so we're or next year depending we're not sure yet but we're kind of beginning the process of that a little bit kind of just looking into what we need to do before we apply for a mortgage that kind of stuff so that's in the works right now and then we will move on to wedding stuff and then the other question is do you have any big plans for your wedding not really <laughs> i mean i honestly like all i know is that i want to get married in cape cod there's this venue that i am obsessed with and i would love to get married there but their prices are just simply outrageous if you've been married or like recently had a wedding or know someone that's been married recently the prices are just insane like i don't know how people do it and i'm a little stressed about that but we will make it work i'm sure but i don't know if that venue is gonna be the one for me because it is really expensive but i am obsessed with it so we will see and i don't really have any like certain been like pinning a ton of stuff on pinterest but i haven't like really thought of like specific things we definitely just like want it to be fun and a party and yeah nothing like too specific and then the other wedding related question kind of was how did your fiance pick out your engagement ring i wish tom was here to tell it because sorry if you can hear my dog chewing her bone also but he knows how indecisive i am so i feel like i showed him like 300 different rings before he actually picked one out it was just like the one i was fixated on at the time so i actually have a picture of it so i tried on this ring at spears if you live in buffalo highly recommend going to spears for any jewelry needs they're amazing let me see if i can find the photo okay here is the ring that i showed them that i tried on i was obsessed with this but i don't like square like I this is a beautiful ring but i don't like square shapes at all on myself personally so i said i wanted that but emerald shape and i tried to find pictures and have like a reference for him i could not find any like a reference picture at all i have not seen any type of ring like this before and he literally did amazing like this is exactly what i wanted but i couldn't like think of it in my head or like imagine it but i knew i wanted this and he did such a good job so that's how he picked it out i really was like between this and just a plain emerald with like a like the same band situation just like the little diamonds on the side and yeah i was between those two and i think i don't know the timeline of when i sent him that versus like when he started to look i don't know if i've ever like mentioned in other videos or anything before but i had 
zero idea he was proposing like when I tried that ring on and like sent it to him I was like one day in like three years like I literally had no idea which obviously I am so happy he did it it's a great opportunity for him to do it in Italy so it worked out perfectly and I'm very happy but I just like was not expecting it at all like we've always talked about waiting until we live together to get engaged or like whatever but we've been dating for at that point it was nine years so and we're coming up on 10 years this year so kind of crazy to think about all so, but yeah, that's how he picked out my ring and he did amazing. 10 out of 10. Next question is what's the best place you've ever traveled? And this is so hard because obviously I recently went to Europe for the first time ever and it was amazing and I feel like every place I went to was just insane. And I'm just gonna say now Europe is just superior to the US. So any place I've gone to in the US, I'm just gonna take off the roster because Europe is just so much better and you know if you've been there and if you haven't been there, you need to go because it's just a different vibe and it's i'm just obsessed so i went to italy as you guys know i went to milan venice rome where else did i go amalfi coast mm, we went to lake cuomo for a day and we're out i literally can't think i think that's everything my favorite out of those were definitely venice and amalfi coast amalfi coast is beautiful like the whole time i literally felt like i was in a movie like fully was like living my best life there i would love to go back in like the spring because when we went it was kind of like transitioning into fall it was definitely like summer weather but transitioning to fall and i feel like i just kind of had like the fall mindset and like wasn't like really doing the things that you could potentially be doing when you're in Wolfie coast like we did do a private boat the one day and that was really fun but mostly we were just like walking around and I feel like we could have definitely like sat by the water a couple days or you know that kind of stuff but I definitely would like to go back in the spring. The places I in Venice were just like insane like I love Venice it was beautiful it's like so unique and different and I've never been anywhere like that and I highly recommend if you've never been. The only place I would say I don't like necessarily need to go back to would be Rome obviously like if you're into history and like that kind of stuff it might be fun for you but i honestly could have went without it it was definitely really cool to see like the chubby fountain and all of the historical things it was really cool to see but we were there for like a day basically we got there late the one day and then we had a full day and then we left super early the morning the next day so we really didn't have a ton of time to like actually do any of like the chores or anything which i think i would go back for that reason only and i would probably only do that with Tom, my fiance because he's really into that kind of stuff and he wishes we could have done that but I probably wouldn't specifically do that on my own because I'm just like not like a museum tour type of person but he loves that kind of stuff so I would definitely go back with him but also I'd want to go like at the beginning of our trip because after being there for like a full week and then having to do like that kind of stuff I feel like was not I don't know I definitely did I was not in the headspace to like sit through like a tour of like history type stuff like i would have fallen asleep like there's no way i was so exhausted at that point but it was definitely a cool city favorite luxury brand and why this is also a very very hard question for me because obviously if you know me you know i love my designer brands and bags and shoes and sunglasses are just like my favorite thing to buy so it's really hard to pick one i would say like my favorite I don't I can't even like I don't want to say one is my favorite but I guess like quality wise and like getting more for your money I would say Gucci is definitely the best brand for like getting your money's worth so I guess for example I have a ton of Gucci jewelry and there is just nothing that compares to it that I've had luxury wise I mean obviously there's some really high-end luxury jewelry companies but I don't own those things <laughs> but for example my gucci ring i don't really wear it that much anymore because i would always wear it on this finger and it kind of looked weird with my engagement ring and it doesn't really fit that great on any of my other fingers honestly so i don't wear it that much anymore but before i got engaged i wore it every single day did never take it off like wore it in the shower everything and it is like perfect condition i think i have it somewhere over here actually i'll show you guys it might be a little dirty right now it probably needs to be cleaned but like you can tell like that is like perfect i've wore it every single day for like a few years like 
shower, wash my hands, everything. Actually, I think it does fit on this finger. It has a couple scratches, but it's like really good condition. Same thing with my Gucci bracelet. I don't quite know where that is right now. I wore that every single day for a really long time. I just like have not been wearing jewelry lately. I don't know. I don't know why. I usually have like a ton of jewelry on, but I haven't been wearing a lot recently. But anyways, I just their jewelry just holds up so so well. Like I wear it in the shower, like I said. I've worn it in pools. It's never like turned a weird color, turned my finger a weird color, nothing of that sort. So I think I'm mostly comparing it to, I have a Dior ring and it looks terrible. I love Dior, but their jewelry is not it. The crystals, I guess they're, I think they're Savorsi crystals in the ring, crack and it turned like a weird like color, which is really bad. It looks awful i don't even wear it anymore because i'm just scared it's gonna break even more and it was way more money than the gucci one and obviously this depends on like what material they're using which i don't know what dior uses i'm pretty sure gucci is just throwing silver i have no idea but all i know is gucci is worth the money and i also have two gucci bags and three pairs of gucci shoes and i just love them the quality is so good it's kind of basic materials i guess you could say like two of my shoes are just like the rubber shoes like i have the rubber sandals and then like the rubber clogs and i'm like sometimes i'm like why did i spend that much money on literal rubber but you're paying for the look and the name it just is what it is so if you're not into that you're not into that but personally i am and i love them and then the other pair of shoes i have are like they're Pointy, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen them before because I post them all the time. But they're like pointy toed, square toed, little kitten heels. And they're like mesh with crystals on them. And those have held up really well as well. And my bags are really great quality. So I love them. I think one of them's canvas and then the other one is leather. But I'm not sure what type of leather it is. So I would say for your money, Gucci's the best. And that's one of the brands that I have like invested a lot in because it's just like not so expensive that you feel ill about but it's I mean it's still pricey and obviously the prices have gone up since I've bought a few of the things that I have but it's definitely worth the money but I would say for like look wise I think YSL or Celine might be my favorite like I don't know I can't pick just one I also love Prada too but Prada is like really getting expensive so I just don't I don't know and I only have one Prada bag and I've borrowed a Prada bag as well from Vivro and quality is okay it's just like definitely way overpriced I would say Celine and YSL are my favorite like look wise because they're just like really like chic and minimal but like timeless I don't know how to explain it but definitely love those clearly I can't pick one favorite but those are probably my top three at the moment because they definitely change and I am very indecisive like I've said so I've definitely changed my mind on that. There's like a few like different, I keep looking over there because my bags are all up there. So I'm like trying to remember. There's a few different designers that I really like, but I don't own a lot of stuff. Like I do love Prada stuff, but it's just kind of expensive for what it is, I feel like. Obviously I love Chanel, don't own anything from there, but I have a lot of stuff on my wish list from there. A lot of shoes and bags. And then Jack Moose is also a really good brand. I love their bags. I only have one currently, but I'm definitely thinking of getting another one soon. I actually went to the store when I was in Paris and I was very close to buying a bag, but I knew I wanted a Goyard bag. So I waited on that. Also love my Goyard bag. So my card holder and my keychain are both Goyard. Love those. The quality is so good. And yeah. I clearly just can't pick one. Question is any travel plans for this year? So like I said, we're trying to plan a wedding and buy a house. So I'm trying to hold back on my travel this year, which has been really hard because last year I was somewhere different almost every single month. And that was amazing. And I loved traveling all last year, but need to like financially recover from last year and like wait till next year but so far my only plans as of right now are i have a family trip at the end of september to cape cod which i'm so excited for as you guys know i'm obsessed with cape cod i want to get married there i am really excited to go with my family and then i also 
in September, I'm gonna go back to New York for Fashion Week. We might also be going to New York in July, August or July, to visit Tom's uncle that lives there. We usually go in the summer for his mom's birthday. We would go to Long Island to visit his family and then we usually go to New York for a day and hopefully the Hamptons for a day while we're there. That should be fun. Those are the only things I really have planned as of right now. We do want to go look at wedding venues in Cape Cod this summer, but like I said, we're just going to wait and see. And I'm just like trying to hold back on the travel this year. It's really hard because I love traveling like more than anything. So kind of struggling on holding back. I keep randomly looking at flights to places. And I also have a companion pass this year from my credit card. So so Tom can fly somewhere with me for free and I really want to do that and he wants to do something once he's done with school in April or May. I can never remember if it's April or May but we will see. We talked about possibly going to Hawaii but that would be expensive so we'll see. That's all we have really planned for now is just Cape Cod with my family fashion week in September in New York and then that's pretty much the whole actual planned stuff as of right now okay i'm gonna try to go through the rest of these pretty quick because i just finished my makeup are you excited to be an aunt yes i am if you guys don't know my older sister is having a baby she's due in like two weeks which is insane so weird like she could literally have it any day and he would be okay and yeah i'm just very excited for her and be an aunt tom has nieces and nephew but it's just like different when it's your own sister so i am very excited what kind of style do you think is most you i've honestly struggled with this because i feel like i love a ton of different styles but i definitely feel like most myself when i'm just in like like what i like to call an effortless chic outfit so like trousers and a basic top or like a blazer and like a skirt or shorts that kind of look is like really cute shoes and good accessories like just very minimal but like chic at the same time that's definitely my go-to but i also love in the summer like a coastal cowgirl moment i love being girly i love definitely different types of styles i do like a little streetwear sometimes i like to be like a little edgy sometimes but definitely feel the most myself when it's like an effortless like minimal outfit what does your dream house look like i feel like just go on my pinterest and look at my home board because you'll see how indecisive i am about so many things i love like a cottagey kind of home or like a very modern home like i'm all over the place but definitely like very bright big windows is like my dream just like neutrals pops of green love that that's like my ideal home okay i think that's everything except for one more that i wanted to save for last because it's gonna take a while and currently my camera is overheating so i'm gonna give it a break before i do this last question but it's what's in your bag and i have a literal mom bag so i'm gonna give my camera a break okay so this is my bag that i carry around every single day this is the bag i bring to work i bring it pretty much everywhere unless i'm just like running a quick errand this is my go-to bag it is the goyard tote don't know exactly what it's called or what size it is but it's the smaller size and also this is a great question because i need to clean this out anyway so we're gonna take everything out and i will show you what's in here and yeah it fits a ton tom actually bought this for me when we were in paris and he likes to say it's his best investment because i have everything ever needed in here most of the time okay first my water bottle this is a bank water bottle i'm obsessed with it it's glass heard one person say there was lead in stanley cups and i immediately gave up we're using glass water bottles now and then i have my Celine sunglasses that are not in a Celine case because I don't know where my case went. And then I have two pairs of sunglasses in here. These are my sister's YSL sunglasses that I borrowed for Fashion Week and have not returned. Sorry. And then my Prada sunglasses. Don't know why I have three pairs of sunglasses in here. Don't ask. I literally only wear my Celine ones. My card holder. Goyard card holder. I'm obsessed with this thing. It holds literally so many cards, which is great because I have 8 million. Then I have these obaji makeup wipes because after i work out in the morning before i go to work i feel like my face feels gross and i like to you know wipe off my face it's more of a cleansing wipe than a makeup remover wipe so love that my keys my goyard chain i was talking about love her a random floating refi lip balm this is like my favorite thing ever honestly and then i have two bags in here that i keep 
this one it has like a bunch of makeup and stuff which i guess i can show you guys what i have in here i don't know where this bag is from because i got it little o keeps falling off honestly and i just stuck it back on there so unevenly but <laughs> i got this when i went on the trip with the girls Alyssa and danielle gave this to me in our little goodie bag so that's where that's from. Don't know where they got it. But in here, I have Shishido eye patches. You never know when you're going to need some eye masks. A Laneige lip... I think this is a lip plump lip treatment balm. There's like 800 different lip products in here. So I'm going to try to pull those all out first. Summer Fridays. Lip oil. Patrick Ta liner. Charlotte Tilbury. Summer Fridays. Another Summer Fridays. Makeup Forever Liner. Another Makeup Forever Liner. There's probably like four of these in here, honestly. Road Lip Balm. Prada Lip Balm. Like, who needs this many lip balms? Another Road Lip. Another Summer Fridays. Dior Lip Gloss. And I think that's it for the lip products. So, just all of, oh my god, I dropped one. Just all of these lip things. So, because you never know when you might need, need a lippy. A Chanel powder. It's like a face powder. This R Co. dart stick is amazing for like little flyaways, especially if you do a slick bun, which I can't really do with my extensions right now, but amazing for that. Crest whitening strips because, again, you never know. Little thing for sunglasses. Hair clip which should be in my other bag. This thing is supposed to go in the Laneige and it clearly fell out. A necklace and a bracelet. That's what's in my little bag, which that necklace and bracelet shouldn't be in there, but the rest of the stuff is mostly fine. Okay, this bag low-key scares me because what is in here, I don't know. I'm a little nervy. Bag is from Dairy Boy. It says Dairy Girl on it. Super cute. I have two mej clips this little bag holds like my migraine medicine usually and like a leave and that kind of stuff zofran whatever i need usually it's kind of empty right now but usually there's a lot more stuff in here but clearly have needed it yet another summer friday's lip balm which should be in my other bag so this is nice i'm cleaning this out a little brush garbage another road lip balm which should be in the other bag as well um, a spoon. I have no answer for that. Lotion. More lotion. And more lotion. Amazing. I have these teeth stain removers. Stain prevention wipes. I don't really know. I've only used them a few times, but they actually work pretty well. Silk scrunchie. Band-aids, because, again, you just never know. Another MEJ hair clip. Obviously, these are my fave. More garbage. A Benadryl itch stick because I got a bug bite once and here we are. Element. Always keep these on me. Always. They're so good. They're like hydration packets. They're amazing. Love these. Perfume. More perfume. More perfume. And more perfume. Because, again... I just never know. A pen, obviously. Tied to go stick, obviously. Another element, actually. Um, a mini makeup remover wipe thing. Putting that in another bag. Garbage. Mints. And candy. Another makeup remover. One singular cough drop. This little Prada mirror. So cute. Love her. Don't ever use it, but I think I use my phone for that kind of stuff. Wired headphones are absolutely necessary because I only have like the big AirPods, so these are great like grocery shopping and stuff. A wireless charger. My hotel key from New York. Some random buttons. I have no idea what this came from, but I'm guessing I went to shoot content and it was attached to something and i threw it in my purse more medicine business card from i have no idea who this is and then all, this is the last thing i found this on the ground and if you're from buffalo and you know billy and jackie don't tell them i have this 
I found it on the ground and I really want to do this for my wedding. These like custom matches. It says Billy and Jackie, a perfect match. And it's got these cute little... I think that's so cute and I've seen people do this for their wedding and I literally saved it because I want to copy it. I don't know if I'm going to do this exact design, but I just love these. Also, I collect matches. I have like a box of them or like a bin thing, whatever you want to call it. So I was like, I'm just going to throw it in there. So found that on the ground and took it. Don't judge me. But anyways, that's everything that's in my bag. I honestly thought I would have more. Actually, there might be some stuff on the bottom of it. It is just all random papers and garbage. And then this is attached to the bag. It's like a little, it's supposed to be like a wallet type thing. And I just attached my hand sanitizer to it because I can get it easily. And then I literally in here just have lottery tickets that I won from Christmas. So I need to cash those in. I just keep forgetting. And I thought if I put them in there, I would remember. And I don't. So yeah, that's everything that's in my bag. I love her. Fits a lot. There's more garbage at the bottom of it because why wouldn't there be okay guys that is everything for the q a if you like this video let me know and i'll do more see you in the next one